What is going on guys? It is Caleb and today I'm going to show you guys the very first project from our introduction to HTML. Um, let's go ahead and click on it. Let's head over to Code Academy for now we're already over there. And let's uh, reset our code. Let's see if we got anything. Okay, so there's nothing to be reset. But um, what you'll be making. So before we ask you to write a bunch of code, we think it's helpful for you to see exactly what you'll be making in this project check out the index.html file in the results tab for an example. We've made our very own web page. So let's go ahead and save the code and submit it. And as you see, what we will be making, it seems to be like just a header, uh, looks like an image tag, and a couple paragraphs down here below. So let's go ahead and start the next lesson. So every house needs a frame. An HTML page is sort of like a house. It needs a certain number of essential structures in order to work. Just like a house, an HTML page needs a frame. In this case, your frame is made up of the doc type tag, the HTML tag, the head and body tags. Instructions. Your web page is blank as day and it was born. Let's add five things. One being the doc type tag. Two, your HTML tags. Three, your head tags. Four, a title tag with a title of whatever you would like and finally our body tag so let's go ahead and get started by creating our doc type tag so to do this remember just to start off your normal tag throwing in an exclamation mark throwing in doc type and then closing it now we get to make our html hit enter we get to make our head hit enter um, and then we can make our title hit enter um, my first website can be the title name and uh, I'm capitalizing that because it is going to be awesome because we made it. Double space, uh, I'm just doing this so you guys can see. Uh, make a body tag, hit enter. Now that's all we need to do. So we have our basic structure or our framework for our um, HTML code. So let's go ahead and save and submit and see what we get. So we have right now we have a blank document, but that's fine. We got the green light. So let's go to the next lesson. It's better with a header. And remember, if it rhymes, it's true. Your web page could use a H1 header tag between the body tags to let everyone know what the page is about you. So let's go ahead and add our H1 tag. And um, we can say something like, all about me. Now create an H1. Uh, we already did that. So let's go ahead and save and submit. And now we have this lovely all about me header tag. So let's go ahead and go to the next lesson. So, tell us about yourself. Your page is coming along, but it's not telling us much yet. You could use a paragraph or two telling your readers that or what your interests are, what you do for a living, how much you love learning HTML, and so on. Insert three paragraph tags after your heading one tag, but before your closing body tag. Write a little bit about yourself in each of the three paragraphs. You can say whatever you like. It is your web page. So, come right here after the h1 tag hit enter a couple times and what we will be doing is creating little paragraph tags with the p don't forget to create a paragraph tag it's just open tag p close tag and then bam right in your paragraph so um all about me um we can say something like i am young um another paragraph we can say something uh i love dot 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 and then on our third paragraph we can say um anything you want so I'm just going to say clocks so that's something completely random but if we save and submit and continue we get all about me I'm young I love and clocks in our paragraphs and we get the green light that's very important we want to have that green light so starting our next lex lesson a picture's worth a thousand words nice work your page still looking a bit spar though better add an image or two to spruce things up a bit. Remember to insert an image from the web, you need to right click and select copy image URL. This uses this URL in, or then uses this URL in your image tag. Instructions are, insert an image tag between your body tags, feel free to put it anywhere. We think it look best after your h1 tag, but before your paragraph tags. You can make the source attribute, now that's the SRC, remember SRC equals source, 
you can make your source attribute point to any image you like. So, first let's just go right here and click enter right after H1 tag and start in a new image tag. Now this is blank at the moment. We need to go find an image. Um, I'm just going to grab this image right here of Eric Weinston. Uh, I believe that's how you say his uh, last name. If I'm butchering it, I am sorry. But to grab the image, remember to right click, copy image URL. Now we're going to go within our image tag and adding the SRC attribute, the source attribute, pasting in the image. And if we go ahead and submit our code, we get all about me and we get his little lovely picture here. I'm young and I love clocks. So, guys. Um, thank you for watching another tutorial. Let's go ahead and start the next lesson. Oh, wait. My bad. I jumped the gun on this one. We have another exercise to do. So, link me. Uh, great. There's only one problem with your webpage. It's still like a house with no doors. Unfortunately, there's no way to get in or out. We'll fix that by adding a couple of links. Once you successfully add your links and hit run, you've finished. Revel in the glory of your newly created web page. If it still looks like basic to you, don't worry. We'll soon teach you some CSS to make your web pages look sharp. So the instructions are to add at least two links to your web page. You can then turn an image or a bit of text into a link. You can even turn parts of text inside your P tags or paragraph tags into a link. Click the hint if you've forgotten how to use the anchor tag. So, let's just go ahead and um, create, make our image into a um, clickable image by nesting it into an anchor tag. And to do this, um, I already indented my image tag down here by hitting the tab key. But I'm going to come back underneath H1, our first header, and I'm going to create an anchor tag, specifying the HRF to whatever we'd like. I'm going to say something like... Um, HTTP, oh man, can't type, www.google, Google, 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 there we go, google.om.com, okay, there we go, and then closing it, I'm going to delete this uh, end of the anchor tag, coming to the outside of the image tag now, and clicking enter, I'm going to go back uh, um, a space, and I'm going to close our anchor tag, Therefore, we properly nested our image tag within our anchor tag. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys how, as it said down here, you can even turn part of your text and uh, uh, your paragraph tags into a link. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So, if we just go down here to our third paragraph where I have clocks, um, right after our, we stated our P tag, at the start of our P tag, I'm going to create a new anchor tag. And um, within this anchor tag, I'm going to add the href attribute again. And once again, going to Google. Because Google is just awesome. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete the end of the anchor tag. And then after clocks, I'm going to add the end of the anchor tag back. So if you were to see this all in one line, it should look like the start of the P tag, um, start of the anchor tag, the clocks, end of the anchor tag and end of the p tag but that may be a little bit f confusing for you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and nest this properly by hitting the enter and spacing and then coming over here and hitting enter once again and deleting a tab back so now that we have this and then it looks a lot better as you can see this is very important and this just goes to show how e much easier it is to read the um code and uh, once you indent it properly instead of having it all in one line as we just did before. So if we save and submit this one, we now have a clickable image and a clickable, uh, clickable text down here, uh, paragraph text, and we finished our first project. So that was awesome. That's great. We created our first web page. It may look a little blunt, but that's all right. That's fine. Later on throughout this course or through these um, series of courses, we will learn uh, a lot about CSS and pretty much really learn how to create sharp and um, stunning web pages. Alright guys, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like rating. If you ever get stuck or have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, also, subscribe for more in future videos, and I'll see you guys later on in the second basics series. And until next time, guys, have a nice night. Peace.